What's up, good people? It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer. We are back with some more trails through Daybreak. All right, so in the last video, we faced off against a boss, and we ended up, um, I think it was the first, well, it was the drone. Um, it was like a 100 eye drone. And then we ran in, into uh, Miss Fairy here, and she needs our help finding uh, a friend in the Jaeger Corps who has disappeared. And so that's where we're going right now in the back of this big ass truck that Van has. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate everyone who has been checking out this series. I have gotten a lot of views on this series. And I really hope you guys are enjoying. I would ask if you are checking out the vids, please tap that like button. I get like 40 views, but like only three likes. So like help the boy like get the likes up. You know, really helps out the video, helps more people see the things. Obviously some people love checking it out. So I appreciate everyone checking out. Even if you don't hit the like button, I still appreciate you coming and checking out the vids. I hope you guys are enjoying. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right. So uh, she said, whoa, it's fast. And it still manages to be such a smooth ride, too. I think I can see a little of why you're so proud of it, Van. <laughs> she don't want to give him a compliment at all in this trip. I'd really start to cry if you couldn't. <laughs> we'll be out of the capital and on the northern highway in ten or so. Then I'll show you how fast and smooth my baby can really be. Boy, love his truck. It can go even faster? Just try to keep it safe, please. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's next. Still not sure you should have come along for the ride on this. I know you got three days off, but the new term started, didn't it? Uh, what? You got no work to do? I just didn't want to be the only one uh, left out. The Genesis seemed to be involved in this somehow, too, so it, uh, so it could be there's a role here that only I can play. Hmm. And I applied for permission to be off campus for a few days last night, so don't worry, I'm not breaking any rules. You thought this was way too hard? <laughs> Our miss has always been way too lax with the rules for such a big name academy. Hmm? Now, how would he know that? Um, so are you going to such a famous academy? Uh, why are you working for Mr. Arkride? Is it a part-time job? That's right. I've only just started, though. And didn't have much to say in the matter. And I didn't have much to say in the matter, sorry. Oh, and <laughs> Farida, uh, Farida, uh, Van is fine. I'm getting paid for this, so you're my client. No need to be polite. But, okay, but only if you call me fairy. Hmm, sure, if that works for you. If you're 13, then you must attend Sunday school at the temple, right? Yeah, I started senior class this year. Uh, they're a lot harder than what I'm used to. Oh, but the temples here aren't uh, the same as the ones I know, I think. That's right. We have churches and chapels instead, so they serve the same purpose. But there are temples for worship in Calvary too. You got Arusha, the winged goddess, in the central east, and Adios, the sky goddess, in the west. They're believed to be one and the same, even if the names are different. She's got. Uh, she's even got another name if you go further east. Oh, yeah. Hey, to tell me about that. It feels like there's so much out there for me to learn. Well, it's a big ass world. Still, it sounds like Ada taught you a lot. She did, not just about fighting, but about different places across the continent, what's popular in those places. I know this will sound weird after I've already asked you to find her, but I still can't believe her core would just disappear the way it did. They're all hardened Jaegers who have always been able to handle anything thrown their way. Your friend from the CID called her the Flame Eater, didn't he? Yeah, pretty well known name among the Jaegers. They say she uses surgical precision with knives and gunfire to cut through enemy morale and momentum. She joined Ice and Shields 
I know it looks like child, but it's actually shield, Eisen shield. Five years ago, after her old corpse disbanded, I think. That sounds about right. She was in another corpse. She was. A really famous one, too. Good old Zephyr. It was called Zephyr and was one of the two biggest Jaeger corps in the West. It was made up of a small number of combat specialists, the Jaeger King being its head. And Ida used to lead one of their units. But after the Jaeger King died five years ago, the whole core fell apart. That was when she moved on to Eisenshield. This is also interesting. I didn't realize Jaeger Chords could have such a rich history. If you hear her talk about it, she sounds gleeful talking about Zephyr. That's how you know, like, they're like legendary among them. <laughs> Zephyr's still around, by the way. Just in different forms. But yeah, their rep back in the day was something else. I can see someone who used to be with them going down easily. So you think so too. But if she's fine, then why does she make contact with the rest of her court? All of this is making my head hurt. Don't worry, we'll find it for you. Even if she is in Krill, I'm sure we'll find some clue that will make us um that will take us to her. You told us how deep your bond with her goes. That alone will surely draw the two of you back together. Where there's a will, there's a way. And Van and I have the will to find you a way. Okay. You mean it? Well, thank you. I'll be counting on you both. So it's a little overpromising there. All right, Anya. <laughs> Thinking about it, I might have had some indirect involvement with Ada two years back. Huh? Really? She chose to go against her old home and help our side back then. Wait, Dan is uh was a part of the uh wait isn't that the who's the Scorpions? Is it the Red Constellation? Van's a Jaeger? Was a former Jaeger? It's starting to make sense. It makes no sense that someone of her skill would up and vanish, and with a Genesis, a Genesis uh, may be involved. It seems like, it, why is it the spelling different for, for him than it is for Agnes? I don't know. There's gotta be more to this than there seems. The only question is whether she went dark by her own volition. Hmm. So it's starting to make some sense if he's a former Jaeger. Wonder why he keeps it under wraps though. Alright, we head to Krill. Watch I'm saying the name wrong. I butcher all the names on here. Wow, the scenery here is beautiful. Everything's so green. You don't get a view like this anywhere I live. Oh, there isn't much like this near the capital either. We haven't passed another car in ages. It makes it feel like we have a whole picturesque view to ourselves. That's how it goes on an old country road. But we're making good time. If we keep going like this, we'll be there in time for lunch. something wrong van something's not right up ahead might be a kid but you're not a Kruger warrior for nothing huh I'm gonna pull over be ready for a fight well damn okay all right just like that huh where they run to some some sort of beast in the middle of the road how the hell did they see that all the way back there <laughs> that bus uh, has been surrounded by monsters the hell are those? Oh, wolves. I count a uh, six, seven, eight. I hate working for free. You can't say that. How can you stand by when there are no, uh, those people are in danger? I know, I know. Watch yourself if you're gonna pitch in. You in or out, fairy? What do you think? I'm in. Right, got a little gun? What is that? It's a rifle blade used in our core. A rifle blade? Where's the blade? I'll use it to keep both of you safe. Now, may Arusha watch over us! Okay then, let's do this. Okay. 
target an enemy. Switch up targets when an enemy is attacked in range. Hmm. Okay. Deploying shark. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do it that fast. Damn it! Use a shark boost to get activating drive. <laughs> Pardon me. A chance. Um. Initializing drive. What you got here, fairy? Let's see. Work here. Keep it up. It's working. How far can that stretch? Activating skill. Fairy. Ah, okay. There's the blade. Probably not a good idea to put her out there by herself. So, fuck that up. You on yet? Here goes. Activating skill. <laughs> there we go. Activating skill. A chance. Ah, that fatal land. Keep on forgetting about that. Uh. Go all out. Initializing there. drive. Thank you. Here goes. <laughs> she had said like that. Thank you. <laughs> The gat. Huh? There. Here goes. Get her to go get her. Go all out. This'll hurt. Blades protect us. Activating skill. Your crush. Oh, nice hit. Hit him fast, fairy. Very nice hit. Sucker. A chance. All you on yet? <laughs> Bring it on! Give them your own. <laughs> there we go. That's how it goes. Nice, nice. Stage fully replenished. You got all types of treasure chests out here and shit. I'm looking. I'm like, man, hold up. Chest over here. Huh? Looks like a chest. Seventh. All right. Now yeah, let's go ahead and finish them off. Someone save me! Take this no. Now. no! Stay away from me! They'll pay for this. Use a sharp boost to get the upper hand. Attack their weakness with an arc. Time to mm. go all out. Think fast. Take this. Give them your all. All you on yet? <laughs> Have some more. All right. That was the last of them. Eh, not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I already know uh, how good Van is, but I'm amazed at how fast you are, Fairy. Are all warriors of Kruger like that? No way. I'm still a rookie. Most of them are much better than me. And your arts were awesome, Ag Agnes. So is your staff. Ah, uh, thank you. It's called an Orville Staff, and... Come on now. Wish I knew what was up with those monsters. It was almost like... Hello? You three over there. 
Are you okay? We really owe you one. We had to pull over because of engine trouble, and the next thing we knew, we were surrounded. I have to say, you got some incredible combat skills. What are you, bracers? Nah, just ordinary passer by, pa yeah, passers by. You work for West Calvert Transport, right? Let me give you my card. Arkrad Solutions? I'm just a guy who helps people with their problems, not affiliated with the Bracer Guild. Even open to fighting monsters and stuff, uh, uh, and stuff like I did just there for a price. Wait. Uh, Van? Hate to come across like this, but you would have been screwed without us, right? So if you can let your company know that and <laughs> have them foot the bill, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, what? But the police of the guild would never... Well, we ain't cops or bracers. And you can't keep the lights on with a thank you. I'm not trying to scam you here. I just want a fair price for our services. We'll even escort you to town to finish the job. Wouldn't imagine you're in a rush to get attacked again on the road, are you? Hmm, you got me there. This is so inappropriate. I can see where you're coming from, but I don't think it's inappropriate at all. Whether it's the water we drink or the security to see we're safe from harm, nothing in life is free. I suppose so. I wonder if everyone from the uh, Central East has such a practical mindset. All right then, we'll hire you to take us to down to Krell. And as soon as we arrive, I'll phone my boss. Sounds like a plan. Now come on, you two. Back in the truck. Okay. Oh, all right. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that to be how this ended. Mint-haired man, huh? The hell is this? That young man's most certainly caught my attention. Interesting. All right. Man, the music they have for these like country villages and stuff, it used to be so like nice little slow <gasps> mellow tones. Well now, isn't this a lovely village? It's like an idyllic painting. Rolling hills amidst clear streams, a windmill turning with the wind, and a touch of Middle Ages architecture. The white flowers we saw in the wheat field were beautiful as well. They were buckwheat flowers, weren't they? It kind of reminds me of, uh, what's that village in, um, Crossville that you go to that has, like, the, they have, like, the honey farm or whatever it is. God, I can't think of the damn name of that village now. Man, it'd be too long before these games come out, man. Good eye. Fun fact, the village uses them in their specialty dish, galette. Oh, I've heard of those. Ida always says they make for a perfect lunch treat. <laughs> I'm excited to finally visit this place. Anyway, that bus is going to be out of commission for a while, so why don't we grab some grub? I hear the inn over there has the best food in the village. While we're chowing down, we can ask if I I was units uh, drop by there. Sound good? Yep, yep. And let's go inside, shall we? Now I have to. It, it was inappropriate, but I got to give props to Van for getting himself paid on this. Wow, this egg is amazing, and the buckwheat has a pleasant fragrance as well. Even the side vegetables are delicious. Monmart has Krell's buckwheat too. But it's no surprise that it tastes even better here. Wait, they have uh they have orange and a black currant galettes on the menu? Hell yeah, I'm so ordering those. Ooh, I think I'll do the same. I have some of those too. <laughs> Maybe I'll order seconds and thirds. It sounds like you're <laughs> you're all enjoying yourselves. Let's are the pride of our village. No one makes them quite like us, so make sure you savor the flavor. And while you're at it, why don't you try some of the items on the menu? We have vegetable collets, smoked salmon, seasoned fruits. Seasonal fruits, sorry. Oh, and you'll definitely want to try our desserts. We serve some of the best caramel and ice cream you've ever had. Oh, boy. She says so many choices. <laughs> Is it bad that I want to order one of everything? 
You got caramel and ice cream? I'll take ten of each. God damn! Wait, hang on. We didn't come here to drown ourselves in food. We came here to ask you some questions. You work here a lot, right? Of course, my parents own the place after all. You saved the people on the bus, right? Well, fire away. Uh, fire away then. I'll gladly answer any question you have. Cool. So I need you to think back to ten days ago. Did any shady looking people happen to stop by here? Ten days ago. I don't know if I can remember that far. Wait. Actually, yes. There was a group of Jaegers staying around here then. I knew it. If you don't mind me asking, how did you know they were Jaegers? Did their attire give it away? Oh no, they were all wearing casual clothes. I just know a Jaeger when I see one. Our village is near the border of a few countries, so we get patrons like them from time to time. But as long as they pay their bills and don't cause any trouble, they're just as welcome as any of our other guests. I suppose that's fair. This village is probably treated as a buffer zone between Jaegers. Braces are always buzzing around like flies, and there's a police station here. I got a question for you. Was there a woman with, uh, with that group of Jaegers? Yes, I remember that being one. I believe she was the leader. She had dark green hair tied back in a ponytail. Honestly, I thought she looked really cool. There's Ida. Yep, that's Ida, all right. It sounds like we're on the right track. Do you know what happened to them after that? Like, did they say where they were headed, for example? Normally, I wouldn't share that kind of information out of respect for their privacy, but since you know them, I don't mind sharing what I know. They stayed here for one night and left first thing in the morning. I don't know where they were going, though, and I haven't seen them since. Wait, no, that isn't quite right. Huh? What do you mean? Have you seen one of them recently? Yes, I think so, actually. I'm pretty sure I saw that same woman three days ago. For real? So does that mean she's still in the village? I think that's doubtful. And honestly, it was also pretty dark out when I saw her. So I might have been wrong. I didn't see any of her Jaeger friends though. Oh, uh, well, either, sorry. You know, the more I talk it out, the more I realize I could have been totally mistaken. Sorry for getting your hopes up. Don't be sorry. It's still a lead worth investigating. You should ask around town to see if someone caught a sight of her too. You've been a big help. I'll order one of the sweeter galettes later, as a thanks. I'll do that. I won't pry into your business, but I do hope you enjoy your stay in our village. Alright gang, it's info gathering time. The goal is to determine if Ada really was here three days ago. If luck's on our side, we'll get some good information in no time. Fingers crossed. Alright. Let's get started, shall we? Alright. So we're in the village here. Look, a real windmill. <laughs> Did she really just say that? A real windmill. I hope that bus makes it back safe and sound. Eh, if something happens to it, it's just more work and Mira for us. Van! Please don't wish for people's misfortune. It's fucked up. Oh, um, I'm good, I swear. Just, uh, never mind, it's nothing. Please, pay me no mind. Huh? Thought he was giving me a funny look there. He seems quite on edge. Do you know him from somewhere? Never seen the guy in my life. He was a bit fishy, but we got bigger fish to fry. Let's even be for now. Oh shit, look like something to go on with this dude. Sorry, I can't talk much right now. Need to fix up the bus here. My apprentice, Kina, or Kana, she's over in the factory. She can help you out with everything you need. She's still learning, but you wouldn't know it uh, looking at her. She can get your ormen sorted out in the jiffy. I'd appreciate it, actually. It'd be nice for her to get some real world experience. Of all the times for monsters to crop up, though, I keep hearing on the news about how there are fewer and fewer of them, and yet there, there they were. I never imagined I'd come face to face with one. All right, I did remember to get in touch with uh, the company about compensating you. And what happened? It's looking like they'll be working on the bus uh, well after sundown. I can only hope to get it fixed in time. 
We were bound for Ramaphiria uh, before we got derailed. We still have a ways to go after crossing the border. Driving at night is too dangerous. We'll have to wait until tomorrow to get back on the road. If we can stay the night here at least. Well. Alright. Just came back from a little fishing trip. Did something happen? Hope it's not too dangerous outside the village now. Anyway, I'll be heading back up to the capital tomorrow evening. Gotta make the best of these local fishing spots while we got time. Alright, so let's check the first shop out here. I guess this is all part of the, um... Let's see. Take as long as you need. God damn, 900 bucks though? God dang. Killing me, bro. Ugh. I'll be waiting for you. I ain't learned no other recipe yet. Matter of fact, I need to use some of these snacks and stuff to, uh... See... The cookie... Love me a sugar rush! Yeah, some of these lighter snacks. Uh, curious KO, but I mean hell. Keep forgetting to do it, but that's how you get the gourmet points. It adds up over time. Uh, matter of fact, let's... looks like another good harvest this year. Dude, looking lonely as hell, standing out the window. Let's see if I can find that dude that was on the bus with the hair. All right, so we'll start here and then. Okay, I guess I'll hit up the stores first and kind of just check out everything around the village before we really start like talking to people. There's a quest event over there, too. I don't know if it's a side quest or what. Okay, can't go there. Chapel over here? Nope, not a chapel. Kind of thought it was going to be one. Hello there, are you here from the capital? We see more and more tourists coming out here from the capital nine days. Maybe it's our produce deliveries, or maybe it's the atmosphere. Either way, we're sort of making a name for ourselves. This does seem like a pretty chill village, though. Good food and stuff. Can't go there. Come on, Kent. Let's go home, okay? I think Nero's anxious. Maybe he wants to sleep. I want to stay outside. There are so many new people to play with. Oh, Annie, there's a crab. You get way too excited, Kent. Something about that old man really scared me. I wonder what he was doing all the way out here in this village. Old oh, man. Hi there, Mr. Mr. Crab. If you don't, you don't mind if I catch you, right? I bet Annie and Nero will flip when I show them. <laughs> Boy, asking the crab, hey, is it okay if I catch your ass? Wow, that huge thing's turning just from the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one of these up close in person before. Feel like a chest would be back here somewhere, but doesn't seem to be the case. Now, who's this guy? Jafar. <laughs> it's Aladdin. <laughs> I, do... 
I, it used to kill me how he talked on that movie. <laughs> the Street Rats. <laughs> oh, boy. Curious about the windmill, are you? This here is my prize, a uh, grain thresher. It does its job pretty well. Veggies and galettes are well and good, but they, um, they are, I mean, they say bread and butter for a reason. We're part of the Republic's bread basket with the wheat that we produce. <laughs> Dude named Jafar. Fuck out of here. Okay, so that goes hillside. This dude out here with a sweater wrapped around his neck. Looks hot as shit. Uh, check out the store here. Ah, uh, sorry. I was just lost in thought there. Fucking these names, bro. Now, <laughs> I don't think I've seen you around. Are you a traveler or did you? Yeah, I just forget your face. Oh, don't mind us, Pops. We're just asking around about some stuff. You remember anything about a group of Jaegers who stopped by a while back? Jaegers. Well, yes, that does ring a bell. Some of them came by the shop, I think. That was a week before. Oh, no, never mind. I think it was someone else. The more I try to remember, the fo more foggy it gets. I don't think I'll be much help. Sorry. No, nah, don't sweat it. We'll loop back with you later. He seemed like he was trying to tell him, and then he just said he backed off of it. Sometimes it just pops back into your head like that, you know. I'm sorry, youngin. I'm just too much of an old fog, <laughs> an old fogey, uh, to remember things clearly. I don't Hello? know about that. Dude seemed like he was trying to say something at first, but then he's like, uh, yeah, no. I backed off. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're ready to get all that stuff yet. Hmm, we can already beef it up, huh? Um, shit. Oh, that's one attack. Uh, I'm I'm gonna save that for right now. I don't think there's anything I need to sell. Nah. So long. We'll come back, bro. We will come back. All right. We'll see what this quest is first before I talk to the people I'm supposed to talk to. Oh, you must be. Well, come and see if you'd like. Hello there, how may I help you? Our veggies are still good in the city, of course. Uh, just not as fresh. Uh, they're the best when you buy them right here, straight from the farm. I sell produce direct uh, direct from the farmers, so you're getting the freshest veg uh, possible veggies. Alrighty. Why, hello. Have damn buckwheat cookies. Okay. And I think we're okay. Thank you. Let's see what she got. Uh, pardon me. Do you have any great coupon? <laughs> I've heard that you take jobs like braces do. Yes? I've got a bit of a problem and I need some help. Would you be willing to hear me out? Sure, but bear in mind, I ain't a bracer. I do a job if I feel like it. And I charge more than they do, too. Are you good with that? Of course. Just as long as the price is still reasonable. Easy. That I'll uh, need to charge you too much. It'll just depend on how complicated the job is. Thank you very much. You see, I'm stumped on what to do. I've been trying to make soba noodles, and they're just not turning out right. Someone from the city, like yourself, might know what I'm, I'm doing wrong. Soba noodles. A dish made from buckwheat flour, uh, kneaded and cut into noodles. I recall from a book that soba noodles are popular in Eastern cuisine. Far Eastern, specifically. Bingo. You two ever had any by chance? It's popular street food back in the capital. Has its fans for sure. Pretty simple to make, but it's got a really deep flavor and it smells like nothing else. Is it really? Dang it. Now I'm hungry. Really? That little girl can ask and eat, bro. 
I felt the same when the mayor told me about it the other day. What is that on her jacket at the bottom? Everybody got something. Like, I noticed that uh, some people have some stuff, like, wrote on their clothes. Let's go all the way back to Yuna. She had never give up on her shoulder. Looks like that says, deeds are fruits. Interesting. So I figured I might as well try to make some myself for the Harvest Festival. I went around and asked villagers for advice, since some of them do know about those sorts of recipes. But well, it's been a bit of a flop. I haven't been able to get the flavors right. The Harvest Festival. I think I read an article about it in the paper. Right, now I remember. They celebrate every autumn, right? That would mean this year is right around the corner. So, uh, I ain't exactly a cook, but I can try to give you some pointers based on the sobo I've had in the capital. I think that would be a big help, since you have that point of reference. Hearing about a new experiences from new people is really interesting to me. Thank you for hearing me out. Your thoughts, Van? She's eager for help, but... Yeah, we'll take the quest. Not really a job for a springin', but we've got time. Alright, I'll take it on. I always make sure to do the job right, so I want uh, some good soap out of this. Oh, thank you so much. I'll do my best. I'm getting pretty excited for some news myself. So, where do we start with this? Good question. So, you said you tried to make some and it didn't go so hot. What about them didn't come out right? Well, the flavor was off and so was the appearance. The dough turned out powdery when I was cutting it. Like it wasn't put together very well. It took me so much effort to cut it that I just sort of mangled the dough. The result didn't even look like noodles. The outside was all soggy and wet, but the inside was still chalky. It didn't soak evenly at all. That implies something might have gone wrong when making the dough. Perhaps there is more to making it than the ordinary bread though. Then, the flavoring sauce, I tried to mix it up and make the flavor more familiar to the villagers here. So I ended up using basil in my base. It wasn't inedible per se, but it just didn't seem quite right. Yeah, sounds like you left before you looked there. Best to stick to the recipe. Well, yes, you're right. So there's a lot to unpack here. But before we can dive in, we need to figure out how to make the stuff ourselves. So you said you learned about the dish from some of the villagers, right? Ah, uh, yes. Mostly from Mira Wing and Matona. They were a great help. Both can trace their roots to the east, so they had a general idea of how the recipe went. Well, that's a good place to any start. Feel free to kill some time until we're done asking around. Of course, thank you for your help. Time to start working. All right, feast from the east. Uh, I will present topics. Oh, okay. Uh, nothing from that guy. Why, hello. Thank you. No. We'll go there last. Let's hit this person up over here. Can we talk? Oh, you mean that recipe Giovanna asked me about? Admittedly, I'm not too familiar with the recipe itself, but I know plenty of about its ingredients. Buckwheat is my specialty. It's been passed down my family tree for generations. As millers, we know our wheat. Really? Really now? That's wild. Guess I shouldn't be too surprised, though, with the uh, galettes being this big thing here. Yup, yup. It was my family that first imported buckwheat flour to the village, in fact. So I dare say it's in my blood. So, how do you make buckwheat, though? There are two main ways you can do it. The simpler way is just to only, I mean, to use only buckwheat flour. That's called 100% dough. The second is to mix buckwheat flour with standard wheat flour. You can play around with the ratio of buckwheat to wheat, and there can, uh, there can change the dough. I mean, that can change the dough pretty significantly. The most common ratio is 80% dough. That's 80% buckwheat, 20% wheat. So the way to make dough isn't always the same. There's more to this than I thought. 
The more buckwheat you have in a dough, the easier it dries out. So working with the higher buckwheat ratios takes more skill, especially when you're needing it. That's about the gist of it. Huh, a lot more complicated than I give credit for. Thanks for the crash course. My pleasure. Give my regards to Giovanna, would you? Let's give it a crack and see what we come up with. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, and one more person down there. Ah, uh, that's the chapel. Welcome to the Krell Chapel. Oh, is something the matter? Oh no, just... Are you from the Central East, by chance? It was just a little weird seeing someone like you out here. Ah, uh, some do find it strange, yes. Central Eastern, uh, though I may be, I was born and raised here in Krell. I did make my pilgrimage to the holy city for training. I was approached to serve in temples there, but the holy city wasn't where my heart was. I wanted to come back here to serve this village I call home. Makes sense. A lot of hometown pride, huh? Looking back at, on it, I noticed a bunch of immigrants here, and they all just meshed together. Indeed, Krell is a tight-knit place. It's hard to be a stranger here. Our sense of community binds us close together than any color or creed. This village really does feel like one big family. It's like everyone knows each other. It almost feels like it's home to me. Alrighty. Oh. Now that's some pretty good conversation going on there. Normally, you know, people are just kind of talking about like everyday stuff, but that was pretty good. Nothing here. Sunday school. Welcome to the Krell Chapel. I don't believe we've met. Might you be travelers then? I do hope you enjoy your stay here. I heard there was some sort of accident nearby, but I don't believe it's too much to worry about. Are you here to see the ruins by chance? You can find them on the hills nearby. It's not quite as well known as the other uh, archaeological sites, so you're likely to get the area all to yourself if you choose to visit. Alrighty. Interesting cut through the village here. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go talk to the other person to finish the quest up and then we will talk to the other people. Ah, you must have come on the bus. I don't believe we met. If it, you need anything while you're here, I'll help however I can as a village mayor. We've been getting more tourists and travelers around this neck of the woods. I've been spending more of my time tending to them lately. We're a simple farming town, as you can see, though some of us trek out into the city to deliver produce and spread the good word. At any rate, I'll see what I can do to help uh, sort this business out. For now, make yourselves at home here and try to decompress. Can we talk? Uh, is it about the Gio, uh, about Giovanna's sober efforts? I'm sorry to hear that she's having trouble with it. But I do appreciate you helping her. I hope she gets the recipe just right. Well, the field's not my forte. But I make sure I always do the job right. You can leave it to us. That's the spirit, young man. As for the sober, I can give you insight on the sauce if you like. My mother was born quite far, uh, I'm far to the east. <clears throat> she became skilled at preparing their cuisine growing up. From what I remember, soba sauce is made by the first preparing uh, made by first preparing a base soup stock and adding flavor to it, uh, a flavor of choice to it. Can you tell us more? The flavoring is a blend of various spices and sauces, usually local to the area. When the blend is finished, you mix it into a soup stock. So the stock would traditionally use kelp or dried bonito, to my knowledge. But there are other bases that can use dried uh, that you can use dried vegetables, mushrooms, sardines, and the like. Really, anything goes as long as it tastes good. So you can personalize the flavor of the sobo that way. I see. But kelp and bonito don't appear to be common ingredients here. At least, I'm not particularly familiar with them. Probably bigger out in the east. I see. We can use, uh, we could probably use uh, stuff more common around here instead. So, 
What should you, uh, should we make your soup stock out of? Giovanna mentioned basil. Basil will work in a pinch, sure. But I'm thinking if we really want to make the soba pop, we should get something stronger. Seafood's a good bet. We just need something we can find around here. Shrimp, maybe. Maybe we can get some of that. Ah, so as as it so happens, so some, some of our merchants do carry that. I see the back here, shrimp. Shrimp is a common uh, is common in Eastern cuisine, so you should be able to find some from specialty merchants. I think I have some in my house, in fact. If you like, if you like it, uh, you need only ask. Perfect. Hopefully, we don't gotta raid your pantry, but if we do, we'll let you know. <laughs> nice. Our ingredients are secured. Secured indeed. Mission accomplished. Thank you for your help, uh, M Mayor Wang. Oh, my pleasure. I see some wonderful soba in my future. Okay, that should be good enough. I think we have a good grasp on the subject now. So, do we go back to Giovanna's now? Actually, you know, I think we're still missing something. Oh, and what could that something be? A secret spice, that's what. Nothing wrong with sticking to the basics. But I say, if we're making our own, we put a little spin on it. Something off the beaten path, you know? Maybe something that grows around here. How about local plants? We could probably find some local stuff down by the creek. I'm not sure what you mean, but you sound really confident about it. I trust you on this one. Cool. If we don't find anything, no biggie. Okay. So apparently we gotta go pick something. Over to this far corner. Oh, look at this right here. It's a, a weed or something. Is that even edible? I don't believe I've seen a plant like this before. Yeah, th this here is what's called a fresh ingredient. City slackers, take notes. They, are com they aren't common in the Central East, so I imagine you don't see any out there either. Man took the plant by the stem and plucked it. Now, Far Eastern Spice recipes call for wasabi and while this ain't the same thing it's still called mountain wasabi and for good reason packs a hell of a kick man i remember the first time i tried some uh, wasabi i almost threw up that shit is hot so, so yeah this will do just fine and i and i can handle hot food but that that shit took me by surprise you shred this up grind it into paste and bam i don't know if it's supposed to be naturally like that but the one i ate i don't know if somebody put some shit in it but it was hot enough for Instant winner. I see. So this is what raw horseradish, look, uh, raw horseradish looks like. I couldn't even get the damn word out. Interesting. So is it similar to other kinds of radishes? Oh boy. You don't want to eat uh, this like other radishes. No. Might as well kiss your tongue goodbye if you do. Is it really that strong? I'm not a picky eater, you know. I could take it. Now I'm eager to try horseradish in Sova Nuga's boat. <laughs> I think that about does it. Uh, uh, let's uh, bring Giovanna up to speed. Alright, so we got everything we need. Let's head back to Miss Giovanna. Yo, we picked up on a lot of stuff from the villagers. Oh, thank you very much. If possible, I'd like to try and make another batch, and you can guide me as well as I'm making them. Would that work for you? Teacher. <laughs> you can just say ditcher? Really? <laughs> that is crazy as hell, man. <laughs> Thank you. Let's move to my kitchen. Oh heavens, I forgot. My house is just a mess right now. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you give me just a minute to clean up? What timing? If you're in need of a kitchen, mine is ready and waiting. Ah, Mayor Wing. I thought I'd stop by to see how things were going. Good that I did. Best to strike while the iron's hot, no? Uh, you be welcome to use my kitchen instead of cleaning yours up first. 
Oh, thank you so much. I'll gladly accept. Let's head for the mayor's house then. I'll just need to stop by my house real quick to grab some cookware ingredients. Sure, we'll help you carry whatever you need. This is getting really exciting. I do look forward to the noodles you'll make. Well, make yourselves at home. My husband told me you'll be borrowing our kitchen. Help yourselves to whatever you might need, boy. Good old RPGs, huh? <laughs> we'll be upstairs if you need anything from us. Don't hesitate to bug us if you run into trouble. I'm looking forward to seeing how your noodles come out. Thank you both so much. I promise they'll be worth the wait. Now then, we have the kitchen and we have all, all the ingredients. All that's left now is to put it together. Do let me know if anything seems off to you. I'm counting on you. Sounds good. Glad to help. Ooh, I can't wait. Yeah, I hope you don't fuck this up. <laughs> it's like, it's terrible, man. So first and foremost, the dough. I remember that you can use 100% buckwheat or you can substitute wheat to make a ratio of your choosing. At the time, I figured, well, the more buckwheat, the merrier. So I just went all in with it. So you went for 100%. I did, yes. Shall we stick with the 100% dough then? Buck the trends, that's what we're gonna do. Not to be pushy, but I think a lower ratio would be better. Like 80-20. She literally just said it didn't work when she did that. Uh, Matona was telling me about how 100% dough is really tricky to work with. Dries out before you know it. That's what he said, yeah. So adding some standard wheat into the mix should help when you're needing it. I see. Well, that does make sense. Let's go ahead and do 80% buckwheat. <clears throat> now to knead it. Oh, goodness. You're right. Uh, it's so much more hydrated than before. This is much easier. It should hold up better when I cut it. I think the ratio really was the secret. Smells good too. It's looking great already. I'm excited to see the completed dish. Right, on to the sauce now. I think the stock uh, was where I went wrong last time. I tried using basil and it didn't turn out very well. What would you recommend instead? Yeah, he told us about the shrimp. Let's try using shrimp this time. Mayor said he had some in his pantry. Don't imagine they'll have a problem with us borrowing some, as long as we offer them a bowl. Shrimp? I see, I see. Let's try that then. I'll go and find a shrimp for her. I'll keep an eye out on the pot for when it starts boiling. And the company made themselves busy helping Giovanni with the noodles. Under their watchful eyes, the dish was finally assembled. I don't know, it looked, from a distance, it's got to look a little bit like worms. I don't know. <laughs> now this is superb. The smell alone makes my mouth water. So these are proper soba noodles. I've never had them before, but they look scrumptious. I'm flattered. I couldn't have done it without all your help. Now, let's see how it tastes, shall we? Hell yeah, man. I'm starving. Thank you for treating us. Thanks. And the company dug right in. Oh, wow. It tastes really funny, but in a good way. It's delicious. Can I have seconds, please? Damn, she just should be eating like one piece of the food and then be like, can I have seconds? Like, I just, like, you finished the damn plate you already have? Oh, yeah, the hen of shrimp with that earthy note of buckwheat. That right there is a winner. Five stars. I wolf him down again. I can really taste the natural flavors in this dish. This is almost like a sample of the entire region. You mentioned this was a Far Eastern recipe. It stands out even among them. It's unlike anything I've eaten before. I really wasn't expecting the flavor profile to be so complex. It turned out simply wonderful. This does bring me back. The taste is always so comforting to me, no matter how long I go between bowls. Hmm. I dare say you have mastered this recipe. Make sure you try some of the horseradish too. Hey. It's freshly shredded, so it'll really light up your taste buds. Oh, good point. I might as well give it a try. Oh, shit. I wonder how it might complement the noodles. You told us just a little bit, right? 
I don't see the harm in adding a little more. I can take the spices of Central Eastern recipe, so this this will be cake. Agnes and Fairy decided to try the horseradish with their noodles. Hmm. <laughs> what is that? It's not just spicy. I can't even taste the noodles anymore. I really don't like that. I prefer the noodles by themselves. Goodness, this is strong. <laughs> it's strong indeed. I imagine that's <laughs> to do with how fresh it is. It's acidic at first, but the aftertaste is quite pleasant. I can see the appeal. It's just an acquired taste. Yep, it's a very mature flavor. Not for the faint of heart, but once you try it, it hooks you. You don't like it though. That ain't a problem. You can just have it as it as is. Instead, uh, you just have it as is instead. The book leaves plenty flavorful on its own. Why do I feel like I just lost a fight? Van is quite the seasonal eater, isn't he? There's something uh, uh, admirable about that. Appetites thoroughly wetted. Uh, the group made quick work of their soba noodles. Thank you all so much. I'm glad I was able to do the recipe justice. Now I just need to practice so that come festival time, they'll be even tastier. Looking forward to it. I'm glad I got to try Far Eastern cuisine for myself. This really was delicious. Thank you very much for the meal, Giovanna. All in a day's work. All right, there's a quest <laughs> down. Love to see it. All right. Reward deposited. All right. All right, I'm gonna end here. When we come back, we'll talk to all the people to see what exactly is going on. That dude looks suspicious as hell. All right, but thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate everyone checking out the vids as always. If you are new to the channel, tap that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next one. Tap for that like button, guys. It really helps the video. See y'all later. Peace.